and welcome to Lost Love Raven Tree. I hope you're having a happy day. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do a video and we're going to show you the updates of what we've been doing on our rabbit barn. This rabbit barn is super small. It's about 14 holes and then we have a couple small cages here that we don't use. We only use them cages when we are bringing the babies out away from the mamas. So um, update is we used to have 24 by 24 cages for our rabbits. We decided that we wanted our rabbits to be a little bit more cozy and, and um, they're very special to us. So we put two 24 by 24 cages together, which we will show you in a minute. Um, they are wire cages, so please do not come and cage shame us because we, Lops of Love Rabbit Tree, are okay with having the wire bottoms. What we do is our rabbits are outside running a lot of the day. They come in to lay down on and in their cages. We have things for them to lay on. Every day we change it up of what it is. So today we have something different. Tomorrow we'll have something different and we always have something going on in a routine like this so they are not getting cage issues. I just want to let everybody know that because I'm not into cage shaming. You do what you do and I do what I do and this is what we like to do. So we are going to show you exactly what we do and what we have right now and show you the updates on our rabbit tree. It is amazing. Right now our windows are here and over here. They have cardboard on them because today is 90 degrees outside and we want our rabbits to stay cool. So we have fans going, which you'll see. And we have the windows blocked off with um, different stuff right now. We have the cardboard because that way it stays a little cooler in here for our rabbits. So. All right, everybody. Today we're going to be doing a rabbit tour. And we're going to be showing you all the awesome things that we have upgraded for our rabbit barn. So it, when you walk into the door, this is what you're going to see. To the left, it's Harper. To the right, it's Alexa, which I'll show you. And then all the way here, right next on the back of the door, we have a, a radio that we listen to KTIS all the time, 24-7 in here, except for now because I'm recording and I don't want to get in trouble for copyrights. And then down here we have a system that we use for our rabbits. So for instance, like Skye, if she pulled a lot of hair or too much hair or whatever, like this time she didn't pull a lot of hair, so I have extra hair for her if she needs it or if the babies need it or someone else needs it or whatever. And we have gloves and whatever we have. This is our system. What I did is I got this here from Amazon and I do believe it was like $30 for like a hundred of them or whatever. They are prescription bag. Um, yeah, I think it's called prescription bags um, is what they are. And again, they are held on by a pole. So that's our awesome thing there. So if you flip around, which I can turn back on the fan and shut it off. And Harper thinks she's uh, digging somewhere. And then you have Harper and her baby of Alexa over here. And then you have Maleficent. And you have Esther and her babies. And then you have Skye and her babies. And then you have Faith over here. She's like, oh, it's hot in here. It's 90 degrees, so I got it cool in here. It's not 90 in here anymore. But then you have the fans going, of course. I put that up. I don't know what I'm going to do with that quite yet, but I'll find out. We have the color coding charts that tells us different things about our rabbits, but I'll show you that in the other one because I have a better one that's easier to see. This here is a chart. And what it does is it helps whoever comes in, if it's my daughter or husband, it tells you about foods and and their hay and what they can and what they can't have if it, one can have it. And then we have the cleaning chart for the drinking water. So then that way and different pedigrees and different things like that. So it's just there. We have the poop fan here. We call it the fart fan. Um, we got it from Menards. It's like 60 bucks or something like that it works out perfect and if you flip around hi 
little missy. You want to go outside pretty soon. Um, and then this here is our cages that we use for quarantine or when we have to have a baby weaning or anything like that. The reason why we use this is because these have casters and wheels on them so they can be moved all about. There's two of them on one, um, so then therefore they can be moved and what have you. So that's that awesomeness. And if you're going to flip over here, that's my cart, which I'll show you in just a minute. And if you come straight here, you have, you have oh, Jackson, and you have Asher, and you have Miracle, and you have Baby Blue. And if you flip this way, this is our grooming station. So we do nail trims, we do um, baby butt cleaning if we have to. We do all of that. But what we do too is we use, we put this fabric, any type of fabric. I have a whole bin here full of fabric and we put it on the top of here. So then therefore the babies or mommies or daddies don't get scared when um, we do put them on the table. So they are content with that. Then we have all of the different stuff. The uh, apple cider vinegar, we have the regular apple cider vinegar, we have the stuff that we give them to drink, and we have the new bottles and all the different things, the caps, and then we have this here that my daughter gave me when we were in 4-H. So that will always stay in the barn. We also bought one of these, and this is called the olive barrel. And an olive barrel is they used to in the military put olives in it and then they gave it you know they sell them so it was like 50 or 60 dollars or something like that and it did have oil in it because they didn't clean it of course but that's okay because it is food grade so you can put food and water in it but we did do it and we found out that because we don't have a lot of rabbits it was better for us to use this here for cleaning and here's what that is uh, because of the fact that it would around the rings of it it would get a little moldy and we didn't want to do that then we went to Menards and we got a little spigot so that's how that worked we also have hay pellets and food and different pellets down here which that's cool then we bought one of these at Menards and we used that for the tub or whatever. Then we have Cali. We have an empty cage and we put a nice glowing fan on Cali. Then we have the different green cages that are on the wheels. And then over here we have the boys' cages. Over to the left here with the boys' cages. And then here we have the food cart, which I wanted to show you because I thought it was really cool. Is we have the um, food, we have the hay, we have the food, and then down below we have oats, which I'm almost out of, and then we have this here, and what this is, it is a all-natural snack for them, and you get it at Walmart, and it has, um, let's see if you look at it, it has uh, different, um, what it has, cracked corn, it has lavender, I think they said peppermint, and all that good stuff. But Kelly, she can't have it because for some reason she sneezes from it. And then on the bottom of the cart, we keep this. And what this is, is just horse hay pellets. And we give it that to them a few times. We do not give it to the babies, we only give it to the adults. So that's that little cart and then we do have the two cages that are empty and then we have our little stuff here for the poop trays and then I just bought this little vacuum the rigid um, portable vac it seems to be good so far I have no complaints but I just got it 
and then we have the fan of course then we have the door this door is not a door we put it there because then when we, if we want to keep this closed during the winter we can put the doors back to it and then we have this little gadget here which my husband made for me we went and it is a lawn and garden it's for spraying your plants but instead of having this little thing down here where it would go like this we have it up here so you just pull it and then the water comes out from the hose and sprays and and then we have this on the second shelf and this is just pellets that we put in their litter pans because every one of them has a litter pan in there and then the bottom has enough nothing in it because we don't want the rabbits jumping on any of that and then we have the play area for inside so i do have usually a baby rabbits in here and we do have the water dishes and the poop pan and we do clean them throughout the time of whatever rabbits in there we have the hideout and this so and then we keep the box, we have a box for boxes over there so we can put boxes, sometimes we put boxes in here. One rabbit will run around, of course we'll move this when the rabbits are running around, but um, the rabbits will run, sorry my floor is kind of messy because the rabbits like to throw me on the floor and I have to clean it 24 hours a day to keep it clean. But here is a kind of an overall of this part of my barn so it is getting better it's just so the next one that I show you will be a little bit better so there you have it and then all and and all of these are uh, all of my cages and then we have the door this cage is two 24 by 24 cages put together so they can have room to run because we don't want them to have any issues. And then I'll get some pictures of them out running outside and things like that through, um, in the next video. But I hope you guys like this and I hope that this gives you some ideas on your barn if you have one or if you just want to see what our, our barn looks like and say, Faith, can you say, see you later. Have a great night, everyone. Say bye.